Welcome back guys. This is the season finale of series one of the Steakhouse series. If you've ever been to Keen Steakhouse or Peter Luger's or Delmonico's and you've ever tried their steak sauce or even A1 steak sauce, then you're gonna love this. This isn't A1 steak sauce. This is my B2 steak sauce. Today, we make steak sauce. First, we will heat up a six quart pan over medium heat for about four minutes. Add in enough neutral oil to coat the bottom of a pan, about two tablespoons. Saute a quarter of a minced onion with one jalapeno with the seeds removed. Season with a good pinch of salt and a good amount of freshly ground black pepper. You're gonna wanna get some nice color on these onions and jalapenos. The darker the color, the deeper and richer the flavor. Drop the heat down to medium low and add in a two inch piece of ginger that you have peeled and minced along with three to four garlic cloves minced. Stir this for a couple of minutes in the pan and try not to get any color from cooking. We are looking just to soften the ginger and the garlic. Now we will be adding about three tablespoons of ketchup, organic is better, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Cook this for about two minutes, stirring often. We will now add in 16 ounces, or one pint, or two cups of apple cider vinegar, and the same amount of white wine vinegar, along with some soy sauce. Six ounces of light soy sauce, and a little bit of water about four ounces. Bring up the heat to medium high, stir occasionally, and reduce by half. For the final part, we will now add in one ounce of tamarind pulp. You can find this at any Asian market, or I have it linked below. You will also need to add in one ounce of dried currants and one and a half ounces of Dijon mustard. Stir to disperse the tamarind and Dijon and reduce by one third, stirring occasionally to keep from scorching. Now we are going to transfer everything to a blender and blend on high until smooth. I did about 23 seconds. We will now strain the steak sauce to make it smooth. Taste for seasoning and then bottle and cool your sauce. Now what can you put the sauce on? Well let me tell you, it can go on almost anything. Enjoy it with some steak, chicken, heck even salmon. Mix it with more ketchup and enjoy it with some fries or even put it on a burger. If you're English, you might like this on a bacon sandwich or a chip buddy. It even makes a great gift. Better than A1 by a mile. You didn't think we'd finish this episode without cooking a steak now, did you? What I have here is a New York steak that I've seasoned with salt and pepper on both sides. I have a ripping hot pan that I've added oil and I'm going to cook it for about six minutes, turning it every minute. <laughs> Once the steak is done cooking, you're going to want to take it out of the pan, rest it for about five minutes, and then you're going to want to slice it and enjoy the hell out of that thing with some steak sauce. to season that steak with some celery, some nice crunchy salt. Now, I mean, that steak is good, but it is much better with this steak sauce. Oh man. Alright guys, that's it. This recipe is done. Steakhouse Series Season 1 done. We'll come back to this in a future time. Now if you guys like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.